welcome back to my channel I want to do with a few bits of crafty news first of all I'm going to be showing you some painted papers uh, I've been following a series on Betsy Doodle's channel I shall link it down below um, she's been doing a, a series on painted papers for beginners and I've not had much experience from a uh, painted painting papers and stuff like that so I thought I'd give it a try um, she says you can use any any paints at all just cheap paints that's all you need to start off with I got these ones from B&M we've got the Paralysed Silver Paralysed Gold Copper I've got a Neon Pink I've got a Yellow I've got the red, the black, purple, orange, white, a dark blue, a kind of neon green and a teal green. So I've been using these ones and they're a really cheap set. I can't remember exactly how much I got them for last year but it was extremely cheap, under a fiver anyway for the, all that and it also had some glitter paints in it as well so and it's given me quite good results so I thought instead of doing it all in white paper I, I thought I would experiment and do it on some 12 by 12 scrapbook paper so I've got a couple of pages out of this Soft Silver Vintage, sure I was gifted this by Kaj last year eh, and I hadn't used it so there's a couple of pages that I thought would be ideal uh, I've uh, used the this one on the the white dots are silver in the page I used and this one but uh, I used I used the one without the metallic see this one's got silver metallic and the, the page I used didn't have metallic it's got a um, this pad's got one sheet of non-metallic and one sheet of metallic in every single in every single pattern. So I'll show you now. So this is this is the scrapbook paper, the kind of beige coloured scrapbook paper to start with. And you can still see the silver dots uh, shining through. I really like this one because the, the colours are very subtle. Whereas if you turn it over, it's white on the back. See, that's very much more in your face, the colours. <laughs> I like them both, but I do say, I really like this one the best. So that is day one. This this technique is uh, used, using scrunched up paper. I used up scrunched up uh, baking paper baking paper but you can use newspaper or any any sort of paper just scrunch it up dip it in your paint and away you go but have a look at these videos anyway and the second one I created was this the grey background you can still see the dots slightly I don't know if it's catching it in the camera at all. And here's the white background. Again, I prefer the grey background one. So that's the scrunched up paper technique. This now day two is applying paint with the uh, store card. So you scrape the paint on and you can make marks for the the store card. So I used a, a very thin 
card. I'm not sure if it's card, a thin card or a, a thick paper. But it's thicker than copy paper, but thinner than usual card. And uh, this is what I created with using a store card. And that's layer upon layer of teal paint and the kind of royal blue and white and the uh, silver that's created this one. So I would really like to know which of my uh, painted papers is your favourite. I can't decide but I think, I think it, this side might be my favourite. Both between this side and this side. So, next up, hey, we've got a couple of giveaway announcements. Uh, we've got a giveaway for Midge's Mountain Crafts. Now, Midge is in the USA, but our uh, giveaway is open to it's open international. And all you've got to do to, uh, to enter is you must be 18 or over, must be a visible subscriber and for the month of January you will need to watch and hit the like button and comment on three of our videos. So that's a nice easy giveaway. So if you don't know Midge I'll put our, our channel down below and head over there and enter. Um, she's got some lovely prizes. She's got two different stamp sets. She's got two die sets and she's got the Sweet Clementine collection in the paper pad and also matching ephemera and matching brads as well. So that's a lovely prize. So head over to Midge's Mountain Craft to enter that. And that, that giveaway will be on for the whole month of January and remember you need to like and comment on three different videos starting with a giveaway video um, and the next one you will need to hurry <laughs> so this is the 3rd of January and this is the last last day it's opened it's uh, Julia McNeil Crafts She's got a giveaway worth £150 worth of prizes. So this is the last day to enter. So once, you, once you're finished watching me, <laughs> you can pop over and enter. All you need to do is to enter is be over 18, be a subscriber to her, like and comment on the giveaway video, which I'll link below, and tell... Uh, Julia would like to know which one of our collections is your favourite. Julia does a lot of different collections. She's got the steampunk collection. She's got Toadstool Tots and the Curious Wonders. Um, Weather Girls. Uh, oh, there's a birthday one as well. Um, lots and lots of different collections she's got. So, they're very cute. They're, they're just... Uh, very cute collection so and Julia's prizes she's got lots of stamps uh, paper pads lace trimmings ribbons and some resin sh shapes um she's got some of her own crafting goodies because she she does a lot of her lot of her own goodies uh, she's got some of our Curious Wonders collection, some of the Toadstool Tots collection and some of the Steampunk Stories collection and and also also crafty goodies from other companies. So to enter you need to be over 18, be a subscriber, like and comment and tell Julia which of these, uh, which of our collections is your personal favourite. Now, please tell Julia that I sent you over because I'll get extra points. <laughs> so, um, have a look at the, the video and please enter that too. And I hope you will join me again soon. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.